We've got Frankie Valley and the... They're very noisy, the Jersey boys. Oh, yeah, we're a Morning rabble. Jersey we can't boys. stop talking. Enough. We're a rummage sale. <laughs> Good morning, all. We have Ryan, Stephen, Philip and Glenn. Good morning to you The award-winning Jersey boys, we yes. should say. Yeah. Because yes. you've just won an Olivier. Yeah, which, yeah. Which is a big deal. Isn't it? Yeah, best musical. We we picked it up on Sunday. I mean, it was you know it was a great achievement. We've been working so hard for a year, and uh, yeah, it's nice. You know, it's heavy. It's a little Lawrence of Olivier with a crown on. It was good. Lovely. Feels yeah. like something special. That's yeah. good. Well, we'll be talking to you about that and more on the Jersey Boys shortly. But uh... welcome back. It's been compared to Mamma Mia for the number of hits <laughs> that will have you dancing in the aisles. But that's probably where the similarities end. Uh, Jersey <laughs> Boys. <laughs> has proved it's in a league of its own after winning the Laurence Olivier Award for Best New Musical. Yes, and as you said, not for wearing lycra. The production, <laughs> which celebrates its first anniversary tomorrow, traces the life of 1960s group The Four Seasons. They wrote all their own songs, invented their own unique sounds, and sold 175 million records worldwide, all before they were 30. Well, we'll be speaking to our Fab Four men uh, playing the talented artists in just a moment. First, here they are playing The Four Seasons. <laughs> Stop talking this. No, lot. they're we very just will not stop this stop morning. Talking. The Jersey Boys, they are Ryan Malloy, Stephen Ashfield, Philip Bullcock, and Glenn Carter. Good morning, all. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. You're very gleeful for this time of day. Is it on the wrong side of the day for you? Gleeful? That's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 You have a like, little Santa Clauses. We love it. Yeah. So <laughs> you are Frankie Valley. I am. I am the V man. And the others are the three seasons. Yeah. The three seasons. So yeah. how did that happen? Because actually you were originally the I'm four. I'm the shortest. Seasons. But the, yeah. So yeah. it was originally yeah. the four lovers, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. And then you were the Four Seasons. We were the Village Voices. Oh, there yeah, were, there were lots of so things. Many yeah, different yeah. Names, eh? like but how did Frankie Valley, Valley get to sort of be Frankie Valley, and the rest of you just stayed a seat? Well, well, I sent them to him. Tommy yeah. DeVito made Frankie Valley. I'll have you know. They're all criminals, and I was, I was yeah. the, you know what I mean? I was the only one with a, with a little bit of uh, education. Then I hooked up with Bob, yeah. who was yeah. a genius, and. Uh, well, we just got rid of the other two and just kind of went solo, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think it took them ten years from the original. The first two guys to probably play together were probably Tommy and Tommy. And, and Nick Massey, which is my character, and they went through a, a various kind of uh, different groups and configurations of different members. Then Lots Tommy found Frankie, and then Bob joined, yeah. and it, it, it took a long time. And there were spells in prison for both uh, Nick and Tommy. Uh, during that time, they were all heavily involved with the mafia and uh, you know money laundering and you know petty prost prostitution etc. And and their kind of their band was was kind of almost an aside for, for about 11 or 12 years until until Bob joined and then the kind of the real inspiration musical inspiration took over and uh, the, the show that, that we do shows all of the the nitty gritty of the of their life story really mm. I mean the way it's advertised is very much um, looks like a, a bright spangly musical which it is in places but it's also a very gritty story which is mm. which is mm. what interests us more than anything I think mm. Mm. And how did you each get involved? I mean, you're fairly, if it's fair to say, sort of West End veterans, really. I mean, you've played, we were just saying, you've what Frankie goes to Hollywood, you've played the Frankie, Rod Stewart. Yeah, I'm putting together a Frankie collection. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for Frank Sinatra next. <laughs> and really with the, the cherry on the pie. But, but so how did you each, you know, to very briefly get, get, get into, into this, the Jersey Boys, because it's such a success. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, I mean, I was, a, I was a musician for a while with, with RCA, and then, and then I got into musical theatre by um, doing Taboo with Stephen. Mm. Yeah, we did to boot together uh, the Boy George story, and uh, b before that, I was a classical singer, uh, and that's how I kind of got involved in musical theatre. But uh, I think we were all just—we'd heard about Jersey Boys over on Broadway, and uh, uh, when we knew it was coming over, we just were all called in for meetings, and, and it all worked out. The, the Broadway production team have been very heavily involved in in mm. your production, yeah. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the same production. And team. have you? 
Frankie? He's, have you met Frankie? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've hung, I've hung out with the Frankie and I've hung out with Bob. You've hung out with yeah. Frankie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I hung out with what? the B-man. It was good. It was yeah. good, you know. Where did you hang? Uh, you know, we, we hung out in New York for a little while. I had a little lunch. It was good, you know, he told me, he told me some secrets, you know, he told me how to blow dry the hair correctly. Really, how do you blow dry the hair correctly? Oh, it's got to, it's got to be out It's a secret, out, it's a secret. Yeah. It's, best it's a very Italian way of doing it. He's still touring, is that right? Yeah, he's still going, and, and uh, uh, I think it was um, last year, you know, he had a bit of a, um, he had a bit of a sickness, a bit of a heart problem, and went in, you know, and then, and then jumped out of bed and went straight back out on tour. Mm. Managed to, you know, get divorced in the meantime, and then, you know, I think he's, you know, can't stop yeah. doing it. Yeah, but yeah, we, 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 one, thing, one thing that sort of people do look very closely at when British actors play American characters is, is the accents. And your accents are very specific, aren't they? Yeah, it's New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. Jersey yeah. et cetera. Mm -hmm. So did you get a lot of coaching for that? And do you have, how do you yeah, nail that? Yeah, we had a great uh, dialect coach called Stephen Gabus who came over from America who deals with all of the Jersey Boys companies around the world. Mm. And uh, yeah, he's very, very specific uh, about you know, even the differences between Brooklyn and, and, and yeah. New Jersey, and, yeah, and he was just it, literally, and he, what he actually does is he speaks to you in your own accent, so he would speak to me in, like, in a Glaswegian accent, and then take it from there to New Jersey, so it's, wow. it's an amazing yeah, Because actually it's, it's a different challenge yeah. for you as opposed to for you guys, and particularly you. Mm. Mm. It's, it's weird, Davis looks like Mrs. Doubtfire or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take uh, another listen to you, Olivier Award winners, let's listen. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much And long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you It was my favourite as a kid. I remember growing yeah. up singing well, that. Well, when there were two yeah. phases of the, the four seasons, there was the sort of late 50s, early 60s, and then there was a lull, mm. it seemed to me. And then they came back, I remember him, he came back with the stubble and the longer hair. Is that right? Yeah, Bob had a great, like a, yeah. like a huge <laughs> weave at one point with this beard looking like an El Diablo. They didn't make me have that yesterday <laughs> on the show. You look like a star star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the original. Oh, there, there they go. Yeah. That's tough, that's big, tough the big, pots, that it? must be early 70s, yeah. big collars. Yeah. 1971. Big collars. Oh my god. <laughs> there you are. Do you, you don't go that far, do you? You see, I would have loved dressing up like that. I love a good tash, yeah. you know what I mean? I used to be in a band called Pichy <laughs> Cabron and I used to have a tash and I used to, I used to do this big Mexican thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I'd, I'd have loved that. We look great like that. <laughs> How was Joe Long and Charlie Colello for? Yeah. Just We're, we've just, we've, we've just um, committed to another year because we, uh, we all get on really well and it's a great show, you know. And it, the, it's such a fa fantastic script and a great storyline that these sort of parts don't come along very often for actors, certainly actors that are kind of working in the music theatre. So it's great for us. So we've all committed to another year. So hopefully yeah, everybody's up on their feet having a good dance at the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. And I think as well, the first year was very much kind of, uh, you know, the work of getting the word of mouth around about the show. And I think the second year now we're going to reap the benefits of people mm. having come in the first year. And it was tough with the New Jersey boys. No, nobody really knew what it was, you know what I mean? Especially in this country. And, yeah. you know, being on Old Compton Street, everybody thought we were like four strippers. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where it off now. Well, we're glad right. to have set the Love record us. straight. <laughs> yeah. 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 We do, we do, we do work on I think you should get together and try and do Mamma Mia meets the Jersey boys and we see we what we could, like, with. verse them, you know. Yeah. There is an idea. We've got to leave it there, but really good to see you. Thank you very much. Indeed. Guys, Have a great so. day today. Uh, we'll Robert Wagner's here tomorrow. Marvellous. Yeah, we'll amazing see. autobiography and many romances. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Very interesting book.